Hello my loves and welcome back to my hair channel. So today is a very interesting video because it is not a hair tutorial, nor are you going to learn anything new today. I have absolutely no rhyme or reason for doing today's video other than genuine curiosity. So before I get into telling you about my idea for this video, I want to tell you where this idea came from. So basically, for those of you who don't know, my background is Russian. And as part of our Russian culture, we have this Russian doll called a uh, matryoshka. So basically what this Russian doll is, it's usually made out of wood and it separates from the center. So you basically twist the two halves, take off the top, and then there's this another Russian doll inside of it. And you keep opening it up and opening it up until you get to the very end and you get this little tiny Russian doll at the very, very end. So this idea just kind of sprung to me. I had this idea of creating a braid within a braid, within a braid, within a braid, and so on and so forth. I thought it would be a really, really cool idea to see how many braids I can get within a braid and also very curious to see how long it would take me to do this. I'm not gonna lie, I have a feeling I will be here for a while. To be honest, I haven't even thought of a title for this video yet because I have no idea if this is going to work out for me or not, but I thought it would be an interesting idea and it would be kind of entertaining for you guys to watch. So if you guys are interested to see how many times I can braid within a braid, then please keep watching. So I first wanted to start out by letting you guys know that I'm rocking my natural hair today because I will be clipping in my 240 gram set of fancy hair extensions just to give me some extra length and volume and also to make the overall look of the braid much thicker and chunkier. My hair extensions are a little bit too light for me at the moment. I'm still trying to get my hair to fade to match perfectly, but we're not going to worry about that because once they're clipped in, they're going to blend pretty well. And if you guys are wondering why I said my hair is natural, but it's looking pretty pin straight right now, that's because several weeks ago I had a treatment done on my hair. It is the Perfection Smooth Up by Pravana. If you guys follow me over on Snapchat, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't want to get into it in too much detail because this is not what the video is about, but I just wanted to throw it out there just for those of you who are confused. If you do want me to do a separate video on the Pravana uh, Perfection Smooth Out treatment and learn more about it, let me know. It is an amazing treatment. I'm so happy with it. It's not keratin at all. It's 100% natural and it takes out all of the frizz from your hair. It just, it's insane. Anyways, so I'm going to get into today's video and I'm going to go ahead and quickly clip in my 240 gram set of fancy hair extensions and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I am back and I clipped in my fancy hair extensions. Please don't mind the horrendous blending right now. I have two different textures in my hair right now and the color is not a perfect match right now. So it looks a little cray cray, but we're gonna be braiding it anyway, so it doesn't matter. So I have a sheet of paper here and a pen. So what I'm gonna do is every time I complete one braid, I'm going to make a little mark on the piece of paper and keep a tally of it. So at the end, I can count how many times I braided within the big massive braid and I can tell you guys my score. So I am going to get started. So I think the best way to go about this is to start at the bottom and I'm going to kind of make this braid go to one side so that it's going to be easier for me to braid. I'm also really, really curious to see how long it is going to take me to braid my entire head. So I will put a timestamp on the screen so you guys can follow along with me and see how long it actually takes me. All right, so enough babbling, let's get braiding. So I started off by braiding a regular three strand braid for the first braid and then I would get two strands and use the braid as the third strand to braid again. I basically just kept repeating these steps over and over again. You'll see that at one point the braid gets so chunky that it stops looking like a three strand braid and it looks like I'm wrapping the other two strands around the braid, which is not the case. I have to say though, it's a pretty cool effect. Thank you. 
Okay guys, so I have about a third of my hair left to go and I really like the way that this braid is looking. I really want to make it even thicker and chunkier and see how big I can take it. So I'm going to clip in a few wefts from my 240 gram set in mocha brown just to see how far I can take this. Let's see how many of these wefts I can get into my hair and I'm gonna continue on braiding. So because I'm braiding my hair to one side, I think it would be a better strategy to concentrate the wefts more to this side. That way the strands will be long enough to go around the braid because I found the issue was that a lot of the sections that were on this side of my head were really hard to bring all the way over and they were not long enough to reach the ends. So I'm clipping in a small two clip weft and I'm going to stack another two clip weft right on top of that because more is more and then on top of that I'm going to clip in a slightly larger two clip weft and I'm going to stack another one right on top of that and then I'm going to clip in a three clip weft And I'm gonna clip in another three clip weft right on top of that. Okay, that's a lot of hair. I'm going to work with what I have right now and I'm gonna continue braiding. Okay, so at this point, I was dealing with some strands that were just too short to be wrapped around all the way to the ends of the braid. So I just pinned them to the braid with a bobby pin instead of tying them together at the ends with an elastic. When I got to the crown of my head, I just finished it off with a regular three strand braid that I pulled apart and I blended it in with the multi three strand braided braid. I'm done, guys. My hands feel like they're going to fall off. I'm sweating profusely. I believe I was braiding for about an hour and a half or so. I have to double check the footage. And I do think that I braided 47 times. I was trying to keep track. Um, again, I will double check the footage just to confirm. This is what the finished braid looks like. As you can see, it doesn't even look like a three strand braid anymore. It kind of looks like a twisted, tornado type braid which is pretty cool i've never done a braid like this and yeah it was really interesting for me to do and to see what this braid would end up looking like i wasn't able to incorporate the hair around my crown area unfortunately because those pieces were too short so i just braided it into a regular braid pulled out the sides and then kind of just wrapped it around the twisted braid and made it into one big boho braid. So I wanna know what you guys think about this idea. Would you try it out? So I am pretty excited for this video because I don't think I've seen anyone else do this on YouTube. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. I kind of feel like I wanna make this a challenge. So I wanna challenge you guys to try this out and see how many times you can braid a braid within a braid. And 
And then that way it could be like a challenge to see who can get more braids within a braid. That would be super, super cool. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. And maybe you can tag some of your favorite YouTubers to see if they would be interested in trying out this challenge. So yeah, that is it for today. Until my next video, you can follow me over on Snapchat and Instagram. My handle for both is Nikki Sky with three Y's. I also wanted to let you guys know that I have another channel for those of you who are new to my channel and are not aware. So if you're interested in checking that out, I post there weekly. You can click on the info cards above my head and it will take you right on over to my second channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love you and I will see you in my next one. Girl, how are you going to take that apart now?